Yeah, hi guys, it's Jimmy here. And today I've got a couple of Tudors here. I've got my Black Bay 58. And I've got a boy size Tudor here from the early 1950s. So, um, picked this up a few months ago. It's a very small case. It's only about 31, 32 millimeters uh, from the early 1950s. And the interesting thing is this has got the first of the rose logos, which was the shield with the rose inside the shield. And uh, the reason I'm bringing attention to that is obviously the, the Tudor of today have the rose logos on the crown and the shield on the dial. And uh, sort of shows it's got, it sort of looked confusing at the start. But um, when you look at these vintage ones, the very first Rose logos, they had both. So you see the, the Rose inside the shield. And also the interesting thing with this watch is, uh, the case on this watch is a base metal case. As you can see, starting to wear through in some areas. Very, very fine lugs. And it's got a stainless steel case back. And the case for this watch uh, was manufactured in Australia. So it's actually manufactured in Melbourne by a company called Handley. And uh, so I think during that time, the movements were imported into Australia and to save on some of the import duties and taxes, uh, they uh, made the cases here and assembled them. So they could sort of claim that they weren't, uh, they were only bringing in movements and not complete watches. So yeah, the case was uh, built in my home city. And this happened with, uh, I think it happened with some Rolex movements in the early days as well. So this Tudor has a Australian made case. Completely original too. It's actually quite nice condition. Well, how fine those lugs are. I'm amazed they haven't snapped off. Focus issue. There we go. You can see the wear on the case. Original little crown. There you go, closer look at the dial. Still runs really nice too. So yeah, you've got the Black Bay 58, shield on the dial, rose on the crown. Anyway, just wanted to show you this watch quickly guys. It's only in a boy's size, but it is quite a nice piece. I like the Arabic numerals on the dial. Um, doesn't have any loom. So yeah, just a little bit of history on that piece. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.